Hey, welcome back to Gun City. I'm Ferg, and we've got Aiden from Beretta, New Zealand, with us today and the BRX Beretta rifle. And Aiden is going to tell us why this rifle is the next step in rifles for you to consider when you're purchasing your next hunting rifle. Aiden, take it away. Talk to us about the BRX one and why it's so fantastic. So the amazing thing about the, the BRX rifle is, is all the features it comes with from factory. Yeah. So we come with a, a factory muzzle thread. Yeah. And then it it's a straight pull rifle, but it's yeah. an ambidextrous straight pull rifle. Yeah. So with two really quick changes in the field that you can do either with the tip of a projectile or yeah. even with your finger. Yeah. You can change it from a right hand to a left hand rifle. Yeah. And it's just such a cool piece of kit. It's been tested to military standard, even though it's not a military rifle. Yep. So it's been fired with a full barrel obstruction. Yep. And the straight pull feature on it works coming straight back rather than using the expanding bolt head. Yeah. The awesome thing about that is it's so easy to cycle that it almost feels like it's not locked in because it's yeah. so well designed and so tightly engineered. Yeah. Cool thing is, with the with the testing they've done, even though it acts like that, it uses an AR-15 style bolt head. Yeah. So we can rack that back really quickly feed it back forward, get yeah. some really quick shots off, but it's still completely safe, so you can use it in any situation. Yeah. This rifle has just been precision engineered the whole way through. Yeah. It's a switch caliber kit as well, so in the near future we'll actually have different barrels available. So all you do is you take two screws out here, take your barrel off, your barrel comes off with your Picatinny rail. Yeah. So when you put your new one on, you've got a scope and it guarantees that it's returning to zero. So there's no zeroing process for that. You can change from 308 right up to 300. Incredible. Yeah. And just go straight back out in the field. Yeah, so you could go hunting with two different barrels, two different calibers, Absolutely. scope set up and, and you're ready to go. Yeah, no, definitely. So you've got a traditional bolt action. One, two, three, four. Yep. This one's a straight pull. Why would you buy a straight pull? A straight pull is just amazing for follow-up shots, especially even if you just want to spend some time at the range plinking some targets. Yeah. I, no one I've seen with this rifle has ever walked away from shooting it without a massive grin on their face. It's just that quick, that easy, that fun. Everyone who shoots it enjoys it, and given we can't have semi-autos anymore, this is pretty much as close as you're going to get to that experience. Yeah, semi-auto centerfires, that's right. And Absolutely. You know, if you were target shooting at the range, you could actually switch it to left hand to, you know, yep. to stay on, you know, stay on your trigger, which is yeah. more on your grip. And you, yeah, nice. that's the thing, you can be down on the stock, you yeah. can cycle, keep firing yeah. without actually having to come up. Yeah, that's cool. And then the other side of things as well is you can actually independently change the ejection from the side of the bolt. Yeah. So you can have a, a left-handed bolt with a left-hand ejection or a right-hand ejection and vice versa. Yeah, that's, so, pre that's pretty you know, diverse in terms of a rifle. Absolutely. Why would I want to be a right-hander shooting with left-hand eject? So if you think about, let's say, let's say you're shooting out of a chopper, yeah. um, you're doing some, do. some goat culling yeah. or you're shooting wallaby, yeah. you want to keep your brass inside, yeah. you can keep your ejection on the correct side for that to make sure your brass actually stays inside either the vehicle or the helicopter yeah. that you're shooting out of. Yeah. Um, especially if you want to retain your brass as well. So let's say you're in a situation yeah. at the range where you don't want to be throwing your brass everywhere. Yeah. You can change the ejection side and actually keep the brass contained in a, in a nice area for yeah, you. Yeah, that's so cool. That's it. That's awesome. So Beretta, we're used to them making shotguns. Yep. They're making rifles. Talk to us about that. So Beretta's actually been making rifles and, and pistols and shotguns for a very long time. I mean, yep. they're, they're the world's oldest company, so they've been in this industry. Sorry, the world's the... oldest company. Yep, full stop. The, the oldest company. Yep. 500 years, owned by the same family. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and in that time, obviously, they've learned a lot about how to produce shotguns, rifles, and pistols. Yeah. Uh, they've been producing stuff. And how stuff. to keep their family together. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. They've been producing stuff for the military for a long time, yeah. and they've taken all the learnings they've taken from military mm. manufacturing and civilian manufacturing and put yeah. it into to this one rifle. Yeah. Um, and the great thing about Beretta is, you know, originally this rifle was meant to be released oh, quite a while ago, sure. and it got delayed and delayed and delayed. The yeah. reason it got delayed is because Beretta, each time they produced it and tested it, they found something that whilst the customer wouldn't notice an issue with it, yeah. they weren't happy to re release it. So the fact it's out That's now, what you want. Exactly. That you, want that, you want that quality. Now, Practically, it's a lightweight rifle, it's synthetic, very easy to carry, uh, you know, the whole bolt comes out, yep. which is pretty easy to clean, and you can actually go straight down into the trigger there, and the trigger actually comes out really easily too, so because of its modular design, it's very easy to be able to clean it as well. Absolutely. So, you're a New Zealand hunter, you're considering a Tika or a Sarko, something like that, what would you say to that person? To, to get them into a BRX1 or make them consider a BRX1 as a viable option? I think the most common reason that we get that someone doesn't buy a ticket yeah. is because all my mates have a ticket. 
and I want something different. Yeah. If you want something different, if you want something that still has a sub MOA guarantee and is yeah. going to shoot beautifully, yeah. and you want something that puts a smile on your face every time you use it and your mates don't all have, yeah. this is the gun to go for. Yeah. It's a straight pull rifle, it's at a price point that is just unbelievable for the market. It's yeah. less than half the price of pretty much everything else out there. Yeah. Made by a manufacturer that's been doing it longer than anyone else. Mm. You can take this in virtually any situation. You can cull goats, you can shoot rabbits, you yep. can go for deer or tar or chamois. Yeah. It's just the go-to rifle for that kind of stuff if you want something that's a bit different from everybody else. And I haven't had a single person who's taken it out and used it and not loved it. Oh, that's so great. Hey, well, Aiden, thanks so much for coming in and taking no us over the DRX one. And I love what you said. There's not one person who shot it who hasn't left with a smile on their face. Absolutely. So maybe it's time to try something new in your hunting rifle and give a straight pull a go.